Hey everybody, welcome back. This is a homeschool scramble to do science. If you guys have been around here a little while, you know my health is awful and things have taken me out of the game for quite a while. So today is actually Mother's Day and me and the twins and we're hoping daddy will help when he wakes up. We are going to plow through as much science activities as we possibly can in one day. Now some of the projects we're working on take a couple of hours. They have to go back and check in on and some will take a couple of weeks. But we're getting them all started today, and then there's some that I want to try to do that are just, you know, get it done today kind of things. So I just thought I'd take you along and show you some of the sciencey, fun activities that we're doing this afternoon here in the Holmes household at Holmes School. <laughs> okay. Please don't care. I, right. I don't go far. Okay. Now what we are working on, our table is literally kind of a chaotic mess, and right. it is over there too because, like I said, we're getting it all started. You keep working on your next one. Everybody has been given directions, they've been given the items they need, and I made little charts for everybody to work on. I don't know if I can even show you one. I already see. So right now, everybody is working on planting some seeds. We have never grown anything. We are not the planting family, but this is something fun we want to try this year. So there's a couple different things that came with our science kit, like sweet basil. We got some peas. I think we got lima beans. And then Madison and I picked out a couple different flower packet options. So we have just these like rectangle planters. I don't know where, maybe the dollar store a couple years ago. And then we have some little plastic cups. So what they're doing is they are, it's hard to see this, but it has, it's labeled peas and whatever they picked to plant. So they're gonna get all of our little seeds planted today. They're gonna draw what their little dirt buckets look like, kind of, and then they're gonna write what they think is going to happen when we check on them in a couple of days. So that's what we got started, and I'll show you what else we already have started in the works. All right, this area over here is our chemical reactions and things like that. So we are doing a science with soap. So they have three different brands of soap in different scents and whatever. We got blue, a green, and a white. They're labeled also one, two, and three, and what brand they are. Now what I did was, oh, let me scooch some of this out of the way. We read over the ingredients of the three different types of bars of soap that we have, and I made little charts for everybody. So round one is right now when we just got started and then what they think is going to happen round two we're going to come back in about an hour and we are going to draw what the bars of soap looks like and if they've changed and then what we think they're going to look like again in another hour so this one takes a couple hours and so we got that started first and everyone's got their pictures we got their hypothesis we're going to keep on going along the way and uh so far that's what we got going I'm going to figure out how to slide into the next one after they get done planting their seeds right now. Do you find something gross? Oh, it looks disgusting. Oh, what kind of seed is that? Pea. A pea seed? It's probably just like a dried up pea. We're not farmers. We don't know anything. So I'm on the same level as them. We have no idea what we're doing, but we are going to try our best, right? Yep. I guess so. I don't think we need to farm that I know is the um, grand process of a watermelon. Watermelons, yum. All right, I also realized that if you're new here, we do homeschool, and we do it through a, a charter school. Um, and we started that during 2020, and I think at the end of this school year, we are going to go next school. I think they're going to go back to regular school, but we're going to see how the summer goes. So the curriculum that the school gave us is called Exploring the Building Blocks of Science. So I have my teacher's manual, and what I do is look through. It gives you a list of all the um, equipment and tools and things you need and then gives you prompt questions, things to read to them to get them thinking about what kind of science that we're gonna work on. So we've done some, but some of them are like really weird and I don't always have the, all the ingredients, not ingredients, but all the things you need. So I found a couple that we do, and so they are outside, and this one is more about exploring nature. So they are outside now with their books and their pencils. I gotta head back there too, but they are looking and observing things around them in nature, and they're gonna, see and write kind of write their notes like oh I never noticed come on up we're gonna take off the other I never noticed that you know this part of our yard has purple flowers whatever then let's take a closer look at those purple flowers now does the soil look different there than it does for the purple flowers don't grow let's see so that's what they're doing they are wandering around 
the store, and they are going to do some nature science. So we're gonna un unleash this house. Okay, go on out. Oh, look at there he goes. We're gonna go find Pete and Sissy. He's afraid to leave without me. So they got a nice set up here on the back patio, and they got their books, table, and we let the hound wandering around. Oh, I'm gonna show you. I saw a thing on Pinterest that I want to try. This is not science. Well, kind of a science related, right? So we have these wild green onions growing. I think I want to try to jar up homemade dill green onions, I think they were called. Something like that. So I think I want to try that soon because that sounds delicious. And there's that hound dog trying to sneak into the neighbor's yard, but he's fairly well behaved and he comes right back. Unless their dogs come out, then it's time to play. All right, for the next part, Jake is stepping in. He is going to do the steel wool and nine volt battery experiment and see how that goes. So I will add in the clip of him doing that with the kids. Um, and he is also going to finish up the last round of the soap experiment, checking to see how the water affects the different types of soap. So I think that's all the clips I'm going to get. I decided I need to come hide out in the office and get some peace and quiet. After all, it is Mother's Day and science is exhausting around here. But we got a lot done, a lot of learning, a lot of hands-on activities. And hey, we got some flowers and some sweet basil planted. Maybe we'll get some cool things out of it. We'll have to wait and see. All right, so now everybody observe. I'm going to hold this battery to the steel wall. Absolutely nothing. You see? Oh, <gasps> why? What the? It's sparks, see? It's, it's, that's pretty. What the heck? Is that fire? Tiny flames? What do you think it, what it looks like? It looks like sparks. Well, it kind of looks like tiny little flames. Because of the smoke that's coming out of it. Why? Can I put it to the screen? Well, when it starts on fire, the electrical arcs is 700 degrees. If you touch the wool while it's burning, it's going to be 700 degrees. Okay, well, I and your hand will probably not recover from that. Well, it will get very badly, get very badly burned. But can I, are we still allowed to try it for careful? Because I really want to try it. You try it. You, try it. you see it even sparks when you touch the, the steel pan. Careful. No, touch carefully. Angle it, angle it a little bit. Like this? Yeah, see? There you go. Uh -huh. I want to try. Oh, mess and try. I want to touch the bottom part if I were you. It's going to be a hot tail. Yeah. See? That's cool. This does smell like fire, too. Yeah, so. <coughs> Write down what you think is happening, what what happened. So write down like when the steel wall touched the battery I observed and then write down what you saw and why you think it happened that way. On the back